working out with these ball hog gloves is changing everything, the whole dynamic of the workout. It takes away your grip. So the ball slips out of your hands. You really gotta be able to control the ball. For quality basketball training products, go ahead and log on to ballhoggloves.com. God first, work until. All right, so this sets up the third and final meeting between the two teams. They've split the first two. OKC won in New Orleans back in November, and the Pelicans won here on December 15th. Three minutes in, and the Pelicans with Hernan Gomez going inside, but he got met at the top at the summit. Robinson Earl and Shea in the vicinity. Giddy quickly gets it into the front court. And just good activity of any player that's going around the rim. And how about this? This is going to lead to a timeout for the Pelicans. Tell you one thing, we needed a little break in the action here too because the pace of this game. Because every time you look around, the Thunder has stolen the basketball. SGA, boy, a couple of hard bumps by Jackson Hayes. The Thunder are anticipating those screens really well. The dribble handoffs and, and where those passes are going is Shea fighting through all kinds of traffic inside below the free throw line. A lot of contact on both sides, no problem. And Muscala. Steps inside the three-point line. The defense wants to cut him off on that three-point shot. Oh, Sadaransky. He got swallowed up, and then Shea came from behind to block the shot on Jones. Here comes Dort. Pelicans get back. Dort still wants to attack. Side steps and still scores. I think a big area of focus for the Thunder just like starting that first quarter. I thought the pace was in their favor. You know, just playing you know, fast basketball. You don't really set up a play. Somehow spun his way into that layup off the glass with a reverse. And Wiggins right back the other way, using his long steps to get to the rim. Oh, good. Fresh 24 off of that. Look at that, that tip. No possession after the wedge shot as there's a leaner by Shea. This is the big thunder lead as Shea bisecting the lane goes up for the jam. Tell you, he draws a lot of contact and he gets those mis mismatches. Oh, put his head down and it's Hayes again. This time he's going to get called for the foul and an opportunity for the old fashioned three point play. Shea likes the matchup here on Hayes, but now he faces the double team. Doesn't have his dribble. Maladone still with time. Goes behind his back, steps back on the baseline, and the shot from Maladone drops in. You make the shot consistently. A lot of bodies banging. There's another fadeaway by Shea from the baseline. Beautifully done. Ball handlers don't like feeling that. As Muscala lines it up from the outside, and Mike Muscala buries the three. Boucher back in for his nemesis Temple. Little step back, that three. Bottoms good. And this one no different. There were the theatrics in game two. See what unfolds here. As that is a catch fire three on the sideline, and Wiggins to his big night with a big shot. Late getting out there. Pelicans have been given a lot of airspace to operate from behind the three-point line. That's a terrific block from behind. Oh, and Shea switches hands on the drive. Went up with the right, but finishes with the left. About two or three possessions left in this game. Pelicans need a must stop. SGA stops on a dime, puts up the shot, and he knocks it down.